Now this show, <laughs> were you high when you came up with the idea for this show? I was high when someone told me the idea okay, for this show. Okay, I see. And they thought of <laughs> you. And I said yes. Gotcha. I could adjudicate like anybody. Okay. You so... know, just because I'm high doesn't mean that my uh, moral stance changes. Right. Now you hear the case, and then you go into, you adjourn to your quarters. Uh-huh. And you smoke uh, with, you have a different comedian there as your bailiff each yeah, time. Yeah, we deliberate. You deliberate. Right. Which means we sit there and do a bunch of bong rips. And then you come back, and these people who are, these are real cases who have. These are real people with real problems. <laughs> you come out and tell them and what. And nobody cares more about them than I do. <laughs> because weed is a very empathetic drug. Yeah, is that right? You feel I like think so. It makes you even more compassionate. Yeah, I'd feel bad when I was uh, deciding that someone owed someone else a lot of money because they fell asleep on their couch with a joint in their mouth and may or may not have burnt that couch. <laughs> and burnt the couch. But not all the cases... I don't know. They could be liars. ...are pot-related. There are many cases no. that have absolutely nothing to do nothing with that. Nothing to do with pot. Like, that's... I, I loaned my... I had a guy look after my dog, and uh, now I want it back, and he fell in love with my dog, so he wants to keep it. Right. And the guy was absolutely convinced that the dog loved him, and so was the original owner. So we just put the dog down mm -hmm. on the ground and let the dog decide. Like a sitcom, yes. Like life, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't want to spoil her, but who did the dog go to, the old owner or the new owner? The dog went immediately to the old owner. Oh, really? To the very, very sad... <laughs> the, the guy who didn't get the dog was extremely sad about it. I would think he so. He was convinced the dog would come to him. <laughs> that's because he'd been feeding it for a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Probably at the bottom of a well and some, with some lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he was creepy, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, wow, this is some idea for a show. I mean, I think, I think people are going to be very surprised <laughs> when they see this. I I think so. I, I think, don't think uh, I've ever seen anybody just smoking pot on TV before. Congratulations. Not real pot. It's always uh, the fake stuff. It's always, uh, they're always making themselves sick on oregano. But you have the real stuff. I smoke the real stuff, and then I go on cruise ships. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all figured out, Doug. <laughs> I don't think you should. Uh, can you smoke out of that galvo? Maybe that would be a nice thing. We have one that's oh. been customized. <laughs> For me to smoke out of, but again, you've got it all I'm being figured professional out. Professional tonight <laughs> here on network thank television. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Disney Corporation, we thank you very much. <laughs> Doug Benson, everybody, the High Court weeknights at midnight on Comedy Central. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.